Hey guys, The Unspin here. I hope you guys are doing good, and I also hope that you had an awesome Halloween. So, I've done this video like two or three times already, and I really didn't like the way it came out either time. So here we are again. Third time's a charm, fourth time's a charm, whichever. Uh, if you guys can guess what I was for Halloween, I will send you this $10 gift card to Amazon. Just comment in the comment section below what you think that I was. And if you guessed it right, I'll send you this gift card. This is like one of those phony ones, but I will actually go out and get a real $10 gift card and send it to you. Um, I'll give you two hints. It's something that I love to do, and it's not what I said I was going to be on my Facebook. So, welcome to the show. Thank you guys for joining today. This video is on what happens when the lights don't work. <laughs> what happens when the lights go out? I've been trying to do this video a few times, a couple times, and it just hasn't worked out right. But here we are again. So, I wanted to talk about what happens when weapon lights fail. Every home defense weapon should have a weapons light on it. And for many reasons, but majorly for identification. You want to identify your target before you decide that it's a threat. So you have the ability to decide if it's a threat or not a threat. You don't want to be slinging lead at the wrong targets, at the wrong people. So weapons light is definitely a necessity in home defense. Unfortunately, they do fail. Batteries run dead. You didn't swap out your batteries. You forgot to charge them. The weapon light itself just decides to fail. And knowing my luck, more times than not, it would happen in a situation where I'd actually need it. So, that being said, hopefully you've identified your target before your, your weapon's light decides to die. Or if it does decide to die... I know I keep enough lights on in the house, dimly enough, so that I could identify a target without a weapons light. But, that leads you to your backup. This weapon's clear, by the way. Is your night sights. I'm not really, really huge on modifying handguns, or most guns for that matter. I think that... You should definitely learn how to shoot them before you modify them so you become a proficient shooter without all the modifications. But the one major modification that you should do and on any firearm that you pick up is have a set of sights that you can see at night. With Glocks, uh, there's so many different aftermarket companies that make night sights these are pro eye dots by ameriglow tritium tritium inserts but they're the tritium inserts are actually put in by trijicon and then you have true glow and the list just goes on they make so many and they're so worth the money they, they do get a little pricey ameriglows are a little on the cheaper side I think I paid like 80 bucks for these ones. And I kind of like it. It's got a front insert in the... in the Sorry. It's got a red insert in the front sight. Uh, and then it, the dots stack over each other instead of the traditional three-dot system like Trijicon. So I do like that myself personally. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Whatever you want to run is your business. But definitely invest in a set of night sights the last thing you ever want is something your weapons light to fail and then you have no backup i mean you got iron sights but it doesn't help if you can't see them so you just kind of either stop and take cover or 
sling wet aimlessly <laughs> wherever. Neither of them is a good scenario. Definitely invest in a set of night sights. So, this has been Huntsman32. I have a review I'd like to do on an, uh, another rifle. Hopefully that video is coming out soon. I've been pretty busy between work and hunting season. So, between all that, it's been keeping me pretty busy. So, the old boys playing uh, a video game that's very popular that rhymes with or I, I can't say it on here because I'll either get kicked off YouTube, demonetized, or they'll come after me and want money, which I don't have. So, but either way, this has been Huntsman32 with the Huntsman crew. Little man's over there. Gaming it. It's good to see you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Down in the comments, tell me what you think I was for Halloween. And you have a chance to win a $10 Amazon gift card. I will see you guys soon with an, a review on a rifle that I picked up not too long ago. And hopefully some other fun stuff. Hopefully this ammo crisis ends soon so we can get back out and start doing some other really fun stuff. But either to the or, it's been Huntsman32. Take care, guys. Have a great day.